What's good, Greatness Gang? Welcome back to another reaction. And today I have a very special reaction from arguably the greatest big man in the NBA of all time, Mr. Shaq Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. <clears throat> Gonna be checking out Shaquille O'Neal's Ultimate Career Mixtape. Now, granted, some consider Shaq the greatest center of all time. Some consider him the greatest big man of all time, meaning, meaning out of power forwards as well. So you have people in that conversation like Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Kareem, Giannis, uh, Carl Malone, Wilt Chamberlain, Kevin Garnett, Yao Ming. The list goes on and on. But, wait a minute, I'm forgetting somebody else I want to throw in there. Larry Bird. Charles Barkley. Yeah, so, you have guys like that, and you see what Shaq has done throughout his career. But the thing that stands out about Shaq, his game was much different much unique than majority of those guys and the reason why is because of his physical stature his strength his dominating presence his intimidation his floor aware awareness when he played with guards like Kobe and Dwayne Wade uh, which made his job even that much easier but on the flip side you have some people say, would Shaq be who he is if he didn't have that size and strength? Because he wasn't a shooter. So, that's a good argument to have. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. And also, people like consider some people <clears throat> one of the greats depending on how long they can stay with a team how many rings they could give a team how loyal they are to one or two organizations instead of bouncing from team to team to team to team kind of like what Shaq has done so people would throw that in the argument as well but we just here to check out some highlights look at his game we'll dive deeper later let's go The more bigger I get, I get strong. And the more stronger I get, nobody can stop me. Jermaine O'Neal, can't forget about him. Oh, the rim breaker. O'Neal runs the floor, takes it all the way. Nice pass. Wait a minute. Was that Shaq who just did that crossover? Shaq had handles? What the hell? So agile. So disrespectful. And he had that charisma and entertainment factor to him. Hilarious. No, no luck. Hmm. 
How many legends played for the Lakers and the Celtics? Is he one of the few who did that? Alley oop. Classic play. And it's the thing, it's like, it's hard to defend them because if you get it, if you, you get too aggressive, they're going to call a foul. If you get too close and they don't call a foul, he might get you with that elbow when he does that spin move. Or if you get too aggressive, you might just piss him off and just make him come with more strength. But shout out to the big man who tried to contain him night in and night out. I salute you for it. I wouldn't be able to do it. Jack spins. Oh, the extra move. I know they check the calendar, see when they played the Lakers every year. Or the Magic. Or the Celtics or the Suns. Or the Heat. Hustle. Shaq was a hustle player. He really went for loose balls. Pause. Hmm. One handed alley oop so easily. Damn. These are grown, strong men. He's making look like teenage boys. Back to a times did Shaq win MVP? Put all these guys on a poster. Hmm. Was the game over after that? In the world. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, my favorite player. Uh, when the court fell, was the game over after that? But uh, that was Shaquille O'Neal. It's nothing to play around with. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Love you guys.